Coco, honey, our puppy, look at her. No doubt we'll get into some trouble here soon. Anyway, I miss the old days out on the water. Every time I come down here, I think about sailing and how great that was. Oh my God, being out there was so much fun. But anyway, where did dogs go? Stand by, I'm gonna find my dogs. There they are. Honey, are you leading Coco astray? Like usual. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> so. One of the great Donnie stories of all time. Donnie, uh, of course, was the, the leader out there at LEAD. We loved it. That was one of the best times of my whole life. That's one of the reasons it's been so great to uh, think of these memories today on my 60th birthday. It's been really wonderful. I loved it out there. It was so much fun. And we all had such a great time together. Uh, but anyway, so Donnie used to come out. Uh, we would be on these uh, sessions. I think they were 10 days, as I recall. And uh, Donnie would come out sometime during the session from the house, a couple miles away, and do a teaching. And we were often uh, up on some cliff or on top of some mountain, you know, it's just always these great scenes, right? And Donnie would hike in and, oh man, he sometimes he didn't say much, you know, for a while and he was just kind of mysterious and, you know, there would be a hush, like Donnie's here, wow. Donnie, the great Donnie, and so Donnie would teach the word, and you know, just everybody would get real inspired, and then just without fail, some kind of crazy signs, miracles, and <laughs> wonders would happen, you know, when Donnie was teaching, like, like if he were here, right? There'd be like dolphins jumping out of the water, you know, and a whale would surface and flip its tail, you know, something like that. Anyway, but out there, we would get deer coming up and, you know, we, we had eagles out there, golden eagles and bald eagles. And without fail, like I said, Donnie will get to stirring part of his, his address and, uh, and like an eagle would fly over, right? <laughs> oh my God. Always, you know, rainbows, things like that. Well, one day I was teaching at this place called The Wall and it was again, a, just a, such a beautiful spot. And I had always been so envious of Donnie, you know, he's all these signs, miracles and wonders and all this stuff. And I just always hoped, man, someday, you know, so here I was teaching the word out there and I'm getting all excited. Everybody's, you know, into it. And then I see in a distance, hard to believe at first, I see in a distance an eagle, an eagle flying towards us. Let, this honey, this honey, like I said, always causing problems. So there I was, out at this place called The Wall, a beautiful spot, and teaching the word, everybody's, you know, all right into it, and I'm getting excited, feel the spirit moving, you know, and all of a sudden, in the distance I saw it, an eagle, an eagle, flying right towards us <laughs> and I I got really excited and, I, and I, I made sure everybody was aware you know there was an eagle flying overhead at the exact moment and so as I just as I brought everybody's attention to this eagle it was right there you know on top of a mountain the eagle was right right over us and the eagle goes go 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 <laughs> Oh, 
That's the kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff that happened to me. <laughs> oh, anyway. Well, so, <laughs> got just one more Tawny story. I could tell a hundred of them. Uh, <laughs> Oh, here's another great one, the, the teaching thing. Uh, we were on the Hale Canyon side. Love that Hale Canyon, man. What a beautiful spot. Loved climbing up in there, which brings to mind a hundred other stories that I could tell. But anyway, I'll try to stick to this one. Uh, so there we were. And we had a, it was the first night. Donnie was there with the group. And, uh... We, uh, we had a big campfire, remember that? And again, Donnie was teaching and it was wonderful. And uh, at the end of the teaching, Donnie said he had a special thing he was gonna do, I guess, and I, I'd known Donnie for a while. I'd never, I'd never, never seen him sing. This was before the Tinny Mountaineers. And, uh, and all of a sudden, he he breaks out into a song at the end of his teaching. Night Rider's Lament, the famous, I guess it was Jerry Jeff Walker song, Night Rider's Lament. And boy, just so stirring and so moving, you know. The words were perfect for the situation and the scene. And then, <laughs> at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the song, while I was out a riding the graveyard shift midnight till dawn. So <laughs> the battery ran out on me down there at the beach, and uh, and Honey, as predicted, um, ran away. I couldn't find her. I'm thinking, oh my God, I lost my dog on my birthday, Jesus. But I found her. Um, anyway, here I am. I'm in the kitchen, hanging, and uh, <laughs> the story about the. Uh, the Night Rider's Lament, that's what it was, and uh, Jerry Jeff Walker. So after Donnie uh, finished the teaching, um, there we were, the bonfire was raging, it was wonderful. And I guess it was, I think it was one of the first couple sessions we were out there, and I I had never heard Donnie sing. Of course, this was pre, pre-Tinny Mountaineer days, uh, when he became famous for his singing. But... Uh, uh, there we were, and all of a sudden, Donnie breaks into song. <laughs> wow, it was so moving with all the stars out there. The, you know, the Orion. I remember a couple planets. Once again, you know, shooting stars every second, stuff like that. And uh, there he was singing Night Rider's Lament. And well, I was out a ride and unaccompanied. A graveyard shift midnight till dawn. The moon was as bright as a reed in light for a letter from an old friend back home. He asked me why must he ride for his money? Why must he rope for short pay? He ain't getting nowhere and he losing his share. Well, he must have gone crazy out there. He said, last night I'll run on to Jenny. She's married and has a good life. Sure missed the track when you never came back. She's the perfect professional's wife. She asked me, why does he write for his money? Why must he wrote for short pay? He ain't getting nowhere and he losing his share. Well, he must have gone crazy out there. But they've never seen the northern lights. Never seen a hawk on the wing. Never seen a spring at the great divine. No, he never heard old Camp Cookie sing. I can't remember if he did it. I can't remember if he yodeled, but I think he might have. Yodel lady, yodel lady. Yodel lady, yodel lady. Yodel lady, yodel lady. Yodel lady, 
Yodelay, yodelay, And that's when he pulled out of the out of the holster his his pistol. I think it was a forty-five or something for God's sake. He pulls the pistol out, raises his hand up and goes BAM with the biggest, loudest bang you've ever heard. Fire coming out of the end of the pistol and the echo on Hale Canyon. Bang, 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 bang. That was Donnie Smith. That was Donnie Smith. 